Hello. If you're watching this video, I'm guessing you're really confused on what pathway you should go down. Should you go down the cybersecurity pathway? Should you go down the IT pathway? Should you go down the cloud computing pathway? There's just so many opportunities. So in this video, I'm gonna go over cloud cybersecurity and IT and go over the types of jobs available in each one of these industries, the best entry level job to start with in cloud cybersecurity and information technology, the outlook for these three tech fields, which industry is the easiest to start with, which one has the highest pay, which field I would choose if I was starting over and why. If you are new to my channel, this channel is all about helping you upskill and land a job in tech. Go ahead and smash that like button and to thank you, here is a picture of a houseplant. Go ahead and smash that like button. I do have a build your own boot camp below. It's essentially a list of curated courses, free and paid, that will give you a really good foundation of tech. Again, this is totally free. Link is below in the description. Make sure to check that out. What exactly is cybersecurity, cloud, and IT? Well, essentially they are buzzwords. They are representations and abstraction of a much larger amount of jobs, I guess you could say. It would be a little bit overwhelming to describe security to someone. So we just lump it into cybersecurity. Cybersecurity is essentially securing all things, databases, applications, cloud networks, cloud and IT. There is a less of a line, but cloud is essentially IT, but more abstracted. Cloud hosting is managed by the hosting provider where IT is usually located on premise. And a lot of people are wondering, are cloud jobs going to destroy the IT? T cloud market? And the answer is no, there'll always be a need for on-premise equipment. So IT and IT infrastructure and all of those jobs aren't going away. However, there is a slowdown in that field as we'll discuss later. Some common job titles that can be found under cybersecurity are SOC analyst, malware analysis, penetration tester, IAM analyst, identity access management, great field to get into, cloud security engineer, digital forensics, governance, risk and compliance, and the list could just go on and on. Some really common IT jobs, information technology jobs are desktop support, server admin, backup administrator, help desk, IT support, network administrator, and some really common cloud jobs are cloud administrator, cloud engineer, cloud architect, DevOps engineer. You need to bridge infrastructure with development in these types of jobs because infrastructure as code. So what are the best entry level positions for each one of these technical industries? If you want to go the cybersecurity route, and I do have a playlist that goes deeper into all of this, but the best route is to become a SOC analyst or a cybersecurity analyst, as that is definitely an entry level job in security, no matter what you hear on the internet or Reddit, it is entry level. The best position to start with in cloud would be a cloud associate position or a cloud administrator position or doing something within identity access management like tier one. So you're gonna be creating users and managing kind of the, the user privileges and account. The best place to start in IT is IT support. And I do have a playlist that goes all over how to get a job in IT and some really good courses to start with. These are just the easiest places to start with. Now you can start in other positions. There there are people who start straight as a penetration tester. There are people who just start as a cloud engineer. And so don't let this discourage you from going from a higher level position. This is just the easiest. That being said, which field is easiest to start with? Is it cybersecurity? Is it information technology? Is it the cloud? The easiest one to start with is going to be IT. And the easiest jobs to get are desktop support and help desk. However, that may change as the years go by. Cloud associate, wouldn't it be that much more difficult to start with? Wouldn't say becoming a SOC analyst is that difficult either. However, there may be maybe a little bit more competition for those jobs. So what exactly is the entry level salary 
for each one of these. Now the salary, it really is just going to depend on where you live, how well you can negotiate, what your degree is, what your certificates are, what your resume looks like. But for a SOC analyst, the average pay is 102,000 according to Glassdoor. And on H1B database salary, which is actual salary amounts, the average is $97,000. And this of course doesn't include bonuses, but that is just the average for SOC analyst or cybersecurity analyst again, the names can be kind of misleading. So how much does a cloud associate make? And according to Glassdoor, it's $87,000. According to H1B data, it's 76,000. And that's only going off of three titles. How much does IT support make? So according to Glassdoor, it's $73,000 with the base pay of around $44,000. According to the H1B data, the average is $58,000. It just varies on, of course, where you live and how well you can negotiate. What is the outlook for each one of these careers? Cloud is absolutely booming right now. As we can see from 2022 to 2030, it's going to be 14.8% growth in market cap. And that means that there's going to be more jobs to support those cloud providers. For information security analyst or SOC analyst or cybersecurity analyst, the outlook is 33%, which is one of the fastest growing jobs. And for IT support and networking and infrastructure technology jobs, it's actually pretty slow and it's only around 9% for a computer support specialist, 5% for a network and system admin, and this is slower than average. What education do you need? to succeed at any of these jobs. Do you need a degree in cybersecurity? Do you need a degree in cloud? Do you need a degree in IT? And the answer is no, you don't need a degree, but it can be very helpful. Degrees teach you the why, and if you're just going to work in a technical type of job where you only are going to exercise a certain skill, certificates are more important. If you want to go the managerial route, having a degree is very beneficial. I do have more videos that goes over certificates. If you want to check it out here, make sure to go look at those. Which one would I choose if I was just starting over? So if I could go back eight years, I would definitely choose the cloud because that has the most growth opportunity and it's going to pay the most. So it's more abstracted. So you don't have to worry about cabling. If you ever cabled, if you've ever done RJ45 cable, it's absolutely horrendous. So you don't have to worry about that. Also, a lot of parts of networking are abstracted. Not saying that I don't like networking. It's just not my favorite part of information technology or the tech field. And so I would go cloud all of the way. You also have opportunities to learn more about development and all of that sort. Once I got a cloud job, then I would learn security as it's way easier to learn when you already have context. It really just depends on what you enjoy doing. There, you could, I could have definitely just started off as a SOC analyst if that was a thing eight years ago, but it wasn't. It's a good place to start. Also, the SOC analyst, I guess, would kind of be comparable to the help desk in the IT jobs, except it pays way more and you're getting, I think, a lot better skill set than you would at help desk. It is a little bit more difficult to start at though. However, don't let that discourage you. If you are ambitious, then I would go for cloud or security. Where do you start learning? Well, to be successful at any one of these jobs, you're going to need to know a good basis of IT and networking. And that is why I have that build your own bootcamp curated list of courses below that walks you through step by step on everything you need to learn along with how to make your own website and all of that fun stuff. The link is below in the description for that. Totally free. Check out all of my other videos and I will see you then. Bye.